Guys, I hope you're doing well. Um, yeah, it's not a lot to say. We didn't play well. They played great. So you got to give Shock and his kids a lot of credit. They really took it to us. You know what I mean? Definitely took us to the woodshed. Uh, we just didn't have it tonight for whatever reason. I thought our kids, I thought we had two really good days of practice. You know, we talked to the guys about, you know, they were coming off four in a row, losing at home, three in a row at home, five out of six. I thought their purpose and urgency was much greater than ours. Uh, you know, unfortunately, we picked the wrong time to, to, to play like this because I think we were playing really good. What I just shared with my team was, you know, we've all lost basketball games, but I just didn't think we had a lot of fight tonight. You know, so we got to try to flush this, move on, and prepare for our next game. Uh, but again, you got to give credit to Marquette. They played great. That's the best I think I've seen them play on film. They got whatever they wanted, when they wanted. Uh, we just wasn't our day today. Uh, I don't think you can overreact to the game. The season's long. You know, uh, we had been playing well, so it kind of caught me off guard. It caught me way off guard the way we played today. I just didn't think we were physical. I didn't think we were edgy. We didn't execute. We couldn't make shots, missing layups, miss, missed rotations defensively. Um, I just was more, you know, I was more disappointed than anything else because I didn't expect the veteran team in the hostile environments that we've played in to perform that way yet. You know, I don't think you can dwell on it. I'm not going to overreact on the game. We got to move on and look forward to playing St. John's. Hopefully we can uh, play with a different edge come Saturday at noon.